Ah, uh, I sure love teamfight tactics, but it's kind of boring sometimes. I wonder what makes something not boring. Um, I guess like commentary, right? On professional games? Wait. What if I do that for my games? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Team Fight Tactics Championship of today. Here we have the contestants, each represented by their coaches. Two River Sprites, Demacia Silverwing, True Ice Feather Knight, Jade Paddlemar, Pengu Feather Knight, Snow Cherry Silverwing, and Asia. And off they go. This is the first stage of the game, the carousel, and which item shall each team choose? And the river sprite with Pengu Feather Knight just rushed for the needlessly large rod, and Pengu takes the rod. Asia for Team Zoya takes the tier, interestingly, without competition. Now, some coaches may have certain comps already in mind, but this is the team fight tactics, folks. The outcome is extremely hard to predict, given all the variables. It is therefore up to the coach to make the calls and adapt to the flow of the game. Let's take a look at the end of the first round for Team Zoya. Coach Asia did place the Spear of Shoujin on Malzahar, an interesting but somewhat predictable move so early in the game. Another item on Team Zoya's bench is the Chain Vest. It looks like Coach Asia will be holding off on that one for now. The current champions on the board are Volibear, Malzahar with the Shoujin, and Silver Brown. A safe and stable pick for early game. Let's see how they do in this first half of the second round. Well folks, we're back for the final battle of the first half of the second round, and now four champions are on the board for all teams. Team Zoya's draft now includes Azir in the back line, the red team sends out three woodland druids and one silver vein with Runan's hurricane, a formidable opponent indeed. And the battle begins. Red team's Nico and her clones stay in the back while Zoya's brown goes on collision course against Maokai. Bolly Bear leaps in for support, freezing Maokai. Malzahar summons his little buck friends almost immediately. Red team Vayne does stay safely in the back, but red team Ivern goes down. Maokai falls immediately after. Brown sacrifices himself in the process. Azir and what's left of Malzahar continue to push. And what do you know? Team Zoya comes off victorious at the end of the first half of the second round. What a battle. This sure promises to be an exciting, unpredictable game. And we're here for the final match of the third round. Coach Padelmar chooses four wardens and a lunar comp to defend the turf. And the battle begins. But are they tanky enough to withstand the pressure of glacials, desert, and summoners? Brown collides with Leona and Orn. Volibear against Brown. Running Town against Nasus. The three Zoya champions keep the red onslaught at bay. Three red wardens remain, and Nasus goes down. The minions hone in on Karma. Rampage! Red team goes down without dealing much damage at all. Team Zoya finishes with Azir, Malzahar, and Volibear competing for most damage dealt with Azir in the lead. Cyan and Sivir cheer from the bench, possibly ready to step in whenever Coach Asya gives them a signal. What a great team mindset. All right, folks, we're now approaching the end of the fourth round, which will conclude with Raptor farming. As you can see, Team Zoya has quite a few comps going, but none of them are fully developed. Will Coach Asya keep the course, or will she make any changes in this quite solid team that has carried her so far? And she does! Brown is sold, substituted by Master Yi. Kha'Zix subs in for Volibear and Sivir instead of Zyra, and oh my, Aatrox replaces Scion, completely changing the team's comp to four Desert and three Blade Masters. Is this a downgrade? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's hard to say, but it sure looks risky. Both teams spread out across the stage. Kha'Zix dives in the backline toward Karma. Brown goes for Master Yi. Azir and Malzahar stay in the back, dealing damage at a distance. Kha'Zix travels to the right, and Brown takes this move as an opportunity to go for the backline. He dashes towards Sivir, but did he expect Azir's assist? Evidently not, he continues to take damage. Karma makes one last effort to keep herself and Brown alive, but it's too late. Karma goes down and when Brown is finished, Malzahar comes out of the fight completely unscathed, but the heaviest damage load goes to Azir once again with 2,218 damage dealt. Coach Asya's decision proves itself in action. And we're back for the semifinals. Three teams remain. Team Silverwing in third place with 11 points, Team Blue Blob with 29 in second, and Team Zoya in the lead with 61 points. Let's look at the lineup for the current leader. Four Desert, four Blade Masters, and three Shadow. All champions are Silver, Master Yi securing the middle with Giant Slayer, Static Shiv, and Red Buff. Azir in the back line sporting two Rage Blades and one Negatron Cloak. Finally, Cyan in the front line with Warmog's armor to help him keep enemy lines at bay. I gotta say that Gold Fresh with Zephyr and the Locket looks hella intimidating. Kha'Zix is lifted in the air. The Blade Masters jump into action. Renekton and Yasuo harassing Nautilus. But Master E, what's going on? Master E, evaporating Thresh. Brilliant crowd control from Nami, but the crowd is too much for her to handle. Nami and Neona cannot maneuver out of this pickle. Leona goes down and so does her team. Silverwing leaves the chat. Team Blue Blob and Zoya remain, marking the start of the final round. Well folks, this long-awaited moment is finally here. A few final changes and upgrades for each team before the last brawl. Mind you, Team Blue Blob cannot afford to lose in this situation because that would most likely result in immediate elimination. Coach Asia goes for the roll and there he is! She makes the purchase and BAM! 
gold Malzahar, ladies and gentlemen. This is such a beautiful journey. Malzahar was Coach Ozzy's very first pick and he continued to faithfully carry Team Zoya through the entire championship. And the fight begins. This may be the final battle, but let's not get ahead of ourselves here. And okay, look at this interesting congregation of pretty much everybody except Jax on the left. And sure enough, Bane is in the back, safe and secure, protected by all the bulk around her. Kazi sleeps to the back and flicks a few hits, but he goes away. Why, ladies and gentlemen? Why? Only Kazi knows, and that sure wasn't the best decision. What incredible performance by Team Blue Blob is such strong morale. Vayne and Soraka continue to fire away. Kha'Zix dives in, but he can do nothing. It's down to Sivir and the Bugs to try to hold off Vayne, but the Light Ranger is just too fast. And the Blue Blob team secure this battle, with Vayne finishing with a total damage score of 9,164. What a champ. And now Team Zoe is under serious psychological pressure to try to reposition, try to break through the wards and extinguish Vayne before she gets a chance to light the rest of their team on fire. Coach Asia keeps rolling. She's desperately trying to level up at least one champion on the board, but her economy is low. She has to work on the positioning instead. She did place Kha'Zix closer to the center of the back line, perhaps trying to get him to jump where Vayne will be and not turn away from her like he did last time. And here we are, clutch time. There seems to be no significant change on the Team Blue Blob. Again, they're trying to shield their carry from any possible early damage. Kha'Zix immediately leaps toward the back and is slashing away at Bane. He sure learned his lesson from the previous fight and staying put. Kha'Zix inflicts significant damage to Bane before moving to help finish off Jax. Yasuo going in for the kill and Bane and oh, Soraka goes down and restores Bane's health. Incredible teamwork. And Bane is down. Team Zoya destroys the Blue Blob and becomes the winner of the Team Fight Tactics Finals of today. What an exciting game this has been. It will surely make Team Fight Tactics history. Glad we all got to be part of this beautiful moment. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.